Hello everyone, Agent of Guile here again. Uh, we're back in Hong Kong uh, on holiday and I uh, came back uh, with the family for a relative's wedding. Uh, and then we went to Japan for a bit uh, you know, to see the sights, and now we're back again. Uh, as you can see outside, lots of people. Uh, it's around, it's nearly 5.30 in the evening. Uh, good. It's not dark yet. Uh, it's, yeah, so um, while I'm still here, managed to actually pick up some stuff. Uh, this year was actually pretty hard compared to last year, where I came back and did the same thing. Um, mainly because I'm not sure if, like, it's, like the, the, like, comic book supply is, like, small, or, like, the orders are small, but, like, Feels like the Batmans, especially, uh, selling out faster than normal. So I actually missed like one or two issues, and this, uh, also one issue because I was in Japan. And yeah, so right. also I got a new phone, so I can actually record now. Uh, my old one, the camera was just like it just couldn't focus properly. So yeah, um, picked up some comic books. Uh, so we got Dark Knight's Metal Four. Um, this is getting I actually really enjoy this event. This is really fun. Um there's just like it's just completely it's just insanity. Like it's it's such a crazy event. And it's really fun. And also like, you know, they're fixing some they're going back into some like multiverse stuff. Not really multiverse, but like some old pre new fifty two stuff, some new char old characters coming back, some cool new characters being introduced. Uh with the the regular cover. Uh the eight hundredth issue of Batman. Uh, don't mind the price tag. This is for a, this is a foreign currency. There's in Hong Kong dollars, which is this is like a round, like ten dollars maybe. I don't know. Um, I actually missed out on this issue, so th this is why the price is so expensive on this. Uh, but yeah, how I, I didn't get this one because I think I was, I think like I just was like that was like the week of the wedding or like I was in Tokyo or something. I just didn't pick up this issue. I found a variant cover of 26. Um, I actually really wanted to get these, but they were sold out in Sydney by the time I got to the store by the people with like, standing orders and stuff. So yeah, we got 26, the variant cover of Poison Ivy. Um, this is a really nice cover. Uh, yeah, that's all I can say. Well, compared to the normal cover, this is really nice. Uh, Batman 39. Um, I really like this cover as well. Uh, I'm not sure about their new, like, numbering, like, the header, not really the header, like, the thing they have in the corners, like, tell the number, this DC Universe thing. Uh, I mean, like, my favorite one is, like, still the pre-52 one, uh, with, like, the, like, the shooting star kind of design, compared to this, this one just feels very bland. Uh, so this one might, this one, I think, is a bit better, because, like, there's more stuff on it. And uh, they change the price and issue logo from the top right corner back to the top left, which is fine. Uh, this is a nice cover as well, though, very painterly. Uh, Wonder Woman. And the actual issue itself is like super weird, though. Like it might be like one of like the worst issues in the in the run so far. But the cover is nice. But the issue itself is just strange. Uh, I got Batman Thirty Six. Um, I was really confused by this. I thought this was a second print because. Uh, in the New 52, the, the way, like, the really easy way to tell second prints of issues was that the Bat logo was usually in red. But, or, like, the entire, like, cover was, had, like, a red, like, hue over it, but no, apparently it's the first printing. So, yeah, Batman 36, uh, Superman, Batman, uh, the world's finest, uh, I am, I am a bit confused, though, because, like, the Bat logos are, like, completely different on these two. Like from different eras, um, I think I I'm actually not too sure about why I haven't done any like reading onto why they do this. Uh, it's like definitely intentional, but like I'm not too sure. But yeah, issue thirty six. Uh, this cover is fine. It's normal. Uh, nothing to write home about. Composition wise, it's very bland and samey, especially with the background because they chose the globe of the Daily Planet and it's like very lit up because of the sun. So like. It, like, it looks like the background's just, like, solid yellow sometimes, especially, like, like, in the upper half of the cover. So, yeah, I don't know. 
But also, I found some like really weird stuff in Japan, specifically like old Marvel like cards, like a stack of the Fleer Ultra X Men cards. I have no idea what these were, aside from the fact that they were from the nineties. And like I flipped through a couple of them, and they're very like Wolverine centric, and that's all I got. Like there's a checklist card. There's a hundred cards in the set, I think, plus a couple of like special cards. So this was all for like seven dollars. So basically, there's a checklist card. Uh, there's like you can't actually play with these cards. They're not really trading cards. They're more like collectible cards, like like baseball cards, I guess. So like on the front, you have like an image, not from a comic cover, like from whoever drew these, so like, so for Weapon X it was by Glenn Orbick, and some of the art's like really bad on these as well, and on the back, which I actually think is pretty cool, you have like the number of the card, because you need to, uh, you have part of a comic, like, page, because like, um, they all connect together, and you have like some information about, like, the appearances of like, the first Weapon X costume, and like, some slight information. Which is cool because some of the characters from like some of the characters like minor characters or only appeared in one storyline never came back so it's actually nice to have a little bit of information but aside from that so you can see this very wolverine centric because the first one was weapon x which is as most of you know uh when wolverine was uh being operated on and he was part of the team with Sabretooth, and um they made a movie about it which wasn't very good uh, Department H, which was when he was doing the Canadian stuff, so there's a lot of like Alpha, Alpha Flight members on there. Uh, Second Genesis, which is giant sized X Men, I want to say. Um, probably one of my favorite X Men lineups. The Japan stuff, which is when he, be he decided to become a samurai, and uh, there was he like fell in love, and then like she died, and there was like the Silver Samurai was there. And yeah, they also made a movie about that as well. Um, no, it's just allies. I find it funny because in allies, he like Wolverine gets his own card, and in the back there's one called enemies. Wolverine also gets his own card. So you got allies. You got a bunch of like other Marvel characters like Venom, and like Spider Man, Thing, Ghost Rider, uh, Madripoor, which I know is like a fictional city that Marvel likes to revisit a lot. It's like it's like like the Marvel like equivalent of like a fictional like Asian crime city and I think recently they also like went back to it like in the like in the past couple of years as well so there's a bunch of characters I don't recognize um some I do recognize like Psylocke and uh yeah Mojo World which is when the alien mo like television ratings guy Mojo decided to like make death shows featuring the X-Men so we got Dazzler and Longshot in that like storyline because like Longshot's like an alien and he has like three like four fingers on each hand. So we got Dazzler there. Um, Mystique for some reason. I think some of them like they don't really fit into the categories. They're just like we need to put this character in, so they just found an empty slot. Oh, there's Longshot there as well. Enemies. I haven't heard of, like a majority of these are from Omega Red, Saber Two, and like Typhoid Mary. Like, um, then there's the X-Men, which is just X-Men. It's like the 90s X-Men, I guess, because, like, Jubilee is there. And Bishop. Uh, Age of Apocalypse. I love Age of Apocalypse, which is the alternate timeline when Magneto leaves the X-Men. And because Professor X got killed by... Legion? In, like, an alternate timeline. And he was trying to kill Magneto, and, like, Professor X stopped him. And he died instead. And then Magneto decided to leave the X-Men and like Gambit and like Sinister are part of the Four Horsemen. Savage Beast, I have no idea what that is. Apparently it's like a storyline with involving like, a Genesis and then you got like, chase cards and Mirage cards, which I don't have. I imagine these are lenticular cards. But yeah, um So first up, so like some of these arts are really, really bad because like each different section is done by a different artist. Some of them's like fine. It's like like, it's not like comic book level, because like it's like very painterly. But like some of it's really bad. So you got like we you got Weapon X, which is Wolverine, Sabretooth. Like it just sometimes it just feels like a bunch of like Alex Ross imitators. Maverick, who's like powers like kinetic energy or something. Kestrel, he was in the movie as well. 
Wolverine versus Shiva. I have no idea who this character is. So, huh. This adamantium armored robot was a failsafe device program to destroy. Huh, okay, cool. So he was made of adamantium. Uh, some guy called Kane. Does he have adamantium as well? This cyborg Kane works for the Canadian government as the last operative of the failed weapon X program. Cool. Deadpool, uh, we saw him in the movie as well. So Fox, uh, Victor and Lo like Victor Creed and Logan when they were like fighting together. And uh, the Silver Fox. And so like on the back of them you can see like they kinda of, like form like a part of a frame. So since I think I have the entire set, all a hundred cards, I can make like the entire image, which is like kinda cool. But like I'm like it, it feels because I never actually bought any of this like sort of like cards because all the cards I ever buy were like trading cards and stuff. So like having this stuff feels just really strange. So the slate of you. Where does this guy go? He goes, he goes here, here. So this is like ah, this is a mojo event. So I guess this was like one of the shows that Mojo was running. Because all I see is Wolverine getting like destroyed by like a variety of villains from his past. Uh, I see Spiral, uh, Deadpool, what else is that? I don't know who this guy is. Who is this? Huh. That's kind of cool I guess. I don't know why. I don't know why I bought this, to be honest, but it looked cool at the time. And it wasn't expensive at all. It was like $70 for like this entire stack. And there's like even more like non-X-Men stuff, which I'll show. Cause like, this, like that's what caught my eye, cause I'll explain the story later, but I right, Department H. So we got Wolverine in his Canadian costume. I hate this costume so much. Uh, Snowbird of Alpha Flight. Um, Shaman. I'm assuming these are all Alpha Flight members because I don't even recall anything about like one. I don't know enough about Alpha Flight, and two, I don't recall anything about this arc. Sasquatch. This is definitely an Alpha Flight member. Uh, got another one. Wolverine versus Hulk. I know this is like a good night, like a sort of defining moment. Comic books. North Star. He has a sister as well. I think. I think they're both part of Alpha Flight. Yup. Aurora? I think they're either like brother or sister or like the teammates. Uh, Puck. And Wolverine and Weapon Alpha, whose name is like Vin Guardian, I think is his name. And like his wife also becomes Guardian, and then she like, changes the name to like Vindicator. I never really followed Alpha Flight. So what does this make? Is this just another... Is this like a massive, like, image? What is this? Hey Logan. This is so bizarre, what the heck? So this is like another Mojo page. Huh. Oh wait, because these are different panels. So I guess we're going to like weird Electra. It appears to be the X-Men. I love that uniform. Um, huh. Weird. I think in general, like, in terms of comic books, I've kind of, like, like, stepped away a little bit from it. Like, not because I, like, lost interest, it's just that there's so much, like, events happening. Especially, like, I try to get back into Marvel, but it's just, like, so... It's just too many events. I was like, this is ridiculous. And then like, like they're doing like, the rebirth thing. Now it's their turn to do the rebirth thing. So yeah, uh, we got second Genesis. So like this is giant size next one, I guess. So yeah, Wolverine, Banshee, Sunfire, Cyclops, Wolverine versus Krakoa. 
Storm, Nightcrawler, Thunderbird, if he dies really quickly, and Wolverine and Colossus. So these are all just like Mojo pictures. So th I wonder if this makes like a gigantic thing. Huh. So spirals, and so this is like. I wonder if these all just connect together. I don't think they do. Yeah, they don't connect. Which I think would be a bad decision if they were just connected. So there's Wolverines and there's. Huh. This turns out the X Men were imposters from Mojo World. Got the Japan stuff. Wow. There's a lot of this. So this is like. Wolverine, Mariko. She dies, I think. Pretty sure she dies. Silver Samurai, he was in a movie as well. Odin. Like Shogun, I guess. Wolverine vs. Lord Shingen. I, I don't even remember anything about the storyline. All I remember is that she died. Like Mariko dies at the end after he like, duels some dude. Lady Deathstrike. Oh, wasn't she in the movie as well? Like in the first X Men movie? That was a good movie. Yukio, is she? Uh, she appeared in the Wolverine Limited series. Let's see if we can this. Wolverine entrusted his martial arts and freelance adventurer with his adopted daughter. Okay, interesting. So, Yukio. Madam Hydra and Wolverine and Shadowcat. That is a funky looking like piece of art. What the hell was up with Shadowcat? That's a weird face. Some of this art's really bad as well. So there's a ton more as you can see. I'm pretty sure I have all of them. Like there's allies, you got Venom there, Captain America, Nick Fury. The thing. Uh, Ghost Rider. Uh, Punisher. This is a really bad back. <laughs> Black Widow. Um, Madripoor and Spider Man as well. They got the Madripoor stuff. Wolverine. Now, Wolverine was really popular back then, huh? I guess it still is. Mojo World. Oh god, this, this just looks disturbing. Dazzler. Oh, that's a pretty nice looking artwork. And then... Mystique. I don't get the background. Why is she in the thunderstorm? But okay. We've got enemies now. And there's a bunch of more baby X-Men. There's Longshot. He's kind of cool. Why's he got a... Why's he got a purse? We've got enemies and Wolverine gets his own card again because he's the main character of the X-Men. Uh, Blood Scream. I don't know who any of these characters. Donald Pierce. Who the hell are these characters? Deathbird. Brood. Albert. That looks like a Wolverine clone. Omega Red, I know him. He was also in Marvel vs. X-Men. Typhoid Mary, I've heard of her. Not really too familiar with the character. Now, another Wolverine card, this is just the X-Men series, so I've got Bishop, Gambit, Archangel, I like the, I like Archangel, Magneto, I wish I wish it'd come back, like, that version of Angel at least, Rogue, this is a funky looking Rogue as well, what the heck is with that face, Beast, Jane Grey, I, I really like this costume, not the hair, I just really like this costume, with the really ridiculously, like, armored 90s, with like, also like, infinite pouches and like buckles that did no function jubilee what the like, like the fo like the foiling on the lettering just came off i'm not sure how good it turns out on camera but you can still see like the indents where the letters used to be oh great oh weapon x this is age of apocalypse yeah some of this art's not good like especially the age of apocalypse one is very apparent like this cyclops art is awful i really like age of apocalypse though because of I just like the way the X-Men designed and like they all had like random tattoos over their faces and like Cyclops was like Sinister Sun. 
Wolverine versus Cyclops, Magneto. Also, Magneto had like braids or something. P.S. Apocalypse. Wolverine, Jean Grey, like even Jean Grey had like red, like I think all the X Men just had random tattoos, and they just looked like more bulkier, I guess. Kind of like X Men twenty ninety nine, where like the designs were just really strange. But Savage Beast, another Wolverine card, Cannonball, Life Force, Deadbolt, and Dirt. Uh, I guess that's Genesis, Hurricane, Ex Expediter. Spine, Electra. Oh god! All right, so we got all these cards, but that's not all. We also got like a bunch of like hollow foil ones. These look pretty nice, but we didn't get all nine of them. We only got six, which is a shame, I guess, because like I'm not buying. You. Like I kind of hoped I just get the whole set, but I'm not like gonna spend money buying individual cards because that's stupid. But also, so I was in a store that was selling like everything. Like they had like every type of like stuff that like nerds would like I guess. Like they had a lot of like different like hobby stuff so they had like a sec like a floor dedicated to like Transformers and they had like, a f like uh, Transformers G.I. Joe's like the Western toys and then they had a floor dedicated to like Japanese toys. And the Japanese toys floor also had like the trading card section. And I was just they're looking for like magic cards because I was like and get some Japanese magic cards and like the exchange rate was okay so I was like like it would like it would actually be like probably benefit like cheaper than buying them in Australia so I went there and then like they had a bin full of like bulk just like bulk cards so just like defunct like old cards like collectible card games or any card games just like cards you know like shrink wrapped like they like resealed them like in like bricks kind of and they were like all really really cheap prices so this was like so at first i was just digging through them like it was like a pretty relatively big basket of them and i was just like wondering if there's anything like weird or cool in there and then i didn't actually see the x-men stuff because the x-men stuff was being covered by a different card like game like different collectible cards and then i turned it like and then I flipped it around and I saw it was actually X-Men on the other side and I was like, oh, I definitely need to get this now. And it was only like 700 yen for like the whole thing and it was like a huge like stack of them. So, I actually, so actually this caught my eye. I was like, why is Lady Death? Like I know nothing about the character. All I know is that she's from an era where everything was like weird and like sexy for no apparent reason. So I know of the character, but I know nothing about the character. But I saw this, like it was just like I was like that can't be Lady Death. And then I looked at it, and then turned, and then I like turned around, saw the Marvel stuff. I was like, wait, this has to be Lady Death because they just grouped like the Western comic stuff together. So there's like a bunch of Lady St Lady Death like foil cards and like these like sleeves. Basically, like I don't know anything about this one, and I'm pretty sure I don't have the whole set because. There's like card numbers on the back. This is like the 65th card in the series. And it's, there's like some information of like stuff and like who, who drew it as well, which is pretty cool. Apparently it's a Chromium trading card, the second series. I wonder who made these. Chaos Comics trade money, 1995. So, yeah, we got this. Like, I, I'm assuming these are all just Lady Death. Like, the foiling on this is actually pretty cool. But, like, the art. Oh, like, the art is just, like... What the hell? It's just weird. And then there's a different vote. She's just, like, in different costumes. Now she's looking scared. Now she's angry. Now she's... Stoic. Um, ooh, what's this? That's a nice one. It's completely silver. Man, that hair is... This is drawn by a different artist, I want to say. Mike Okamoto? Okam Okamoto. That is not a bad picture, if it can focus. This is a 24 minute video. Uh, more artwork. Ooh, this, just, this just looks like a comic cover. This one's pretty cool, actually. This one 
This one's pretty nice art as well. It's, it's drawn by a guy called the Dark Lord. And then this is a... Ooh, this looks like a two-part card. Ooh, it is. Good God. That's not correct. But there should be another one in the middle. It should be a three-part. Shame. This, will, this also looks like a two-part card. I have no idea what's happening with this. Does it connect to this? No, it doesn't. There's a bunch of these two-part cards. Okay. There's another... I have no idea how any of these connect. Why is the skin suddenly a different color? Did you color blood? Is that what it's meant to be? This is so strange. Man. There she is again. And there's... Ooh, who drew this one? Joseph Michael Kinsner. Man, I've never heard of any of these others. But that's pretty cool. There's a random dragon in the back, and you know, Venetian blinds. These are all like drawn by like relatively different people. Like some of them are all drawn by the, some of them are drawn by the same guy, but okay, this is just a different character on this. Who is this? Purgatory. Oh, maybe that's Purgatory. Maybe that's why the skin color is different on that connected card. All right, this is. Who the hell's this? Lucifer. Okay, that's just the devil. Ah, wait. This is purgatory. Right? Yeah, it's purgatory. Uh, more. Holy cow. Some of this art is like really questionable. I think she's progressively wearing like skincare outfits. Like, oh, we, we have to like keep on theme, so they just draw like random demons and skulls everywhere. Man, that's a nice shadow on this. Like, see, what, like, why is she wearing like this dress? Let's like, explain in the back. No, apparently, this is no reason why she's wearing this dress. Okay, here she's just straight naked, or well, nearly naked. She is in a state of... That's her battle regalia. That is stupid. She's powerful. She's wearing another red... This is so weird. What the heck is this? Okay, so this one does... Ooh. This is a chase card. Three of five. Ooh. So... That is... That is, come on, man, like, come on. Maybe, like, the chase cards go into, like, progressively more undressed states. Like, the first one, she's, like, fully clothed, and, like, the fifth one, she's, like, straight naked. I don't know. The back is also foil as well, that's kind of cool. But, yeah, so, this has been nearly 30 minutes. Um, I haven't made videos in a while. I'm gonna start making them again. I'm here for, like, three more weeks. Uh, yeah, so, it's from Legion of Guile. Uh, I'm gonna try and buy some stuff, like, actively look for comics and stuff. And I'll see you next time.